Are you taping? I am. Oh. Welcome, friends. Welcome to our classroom. Okay, let's start with our, our morning song. <laughs> Say hi, Lexi. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Children of the Lord. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Children of the Welcome to our class. So let's go ahead and let's start with our morning prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear God, help me spend today with a smile on my face, love in my heart, joy in His grace, and my thinking cap on all day. Amen. All right, let's say good morning to our friends. Let's say good morning to... Cooper, because we can't do this in person. Good morning to Landon. Good morning to Carson. Good morning to Maddie. Good morning to Taylor. Good morning to Lincoln. Good morning to Griffin, and good morning to Quincy. All right, so let's go ahead and start with our calendar. And today is this number. Now remember, we read from left to right. So what numbers do you see? I see a three and a one. And I'm going to put that 31. It comes after the number 30. And look, we have filled up our calendar. It's every single day in the month of March. So instead of jumping today because it's 31, well, if you want to jump 31 times as I'm counting, that's fine. But um, I'm just going to tap my leg as I'm counting. And here we go. So count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. 31. Everybody give yourself a pat on the back because that was a lot of counting today. So today is March 31st, or sorry, Tuesday, March 31st, 2020. And when we come back to school on Thursday, we're going to have a whole new month. So remember, that means all these numbers are going to be gone and we're going to start from the beginning. All right. So let's look outside and see what the weather is like today. Can you look outside your window and see what the weather is like today? Let's see. Lexi, today is cloudy, all right? And it's a little chilly out today. So let's move our, our um, temperature to the blue. And we have to add to our weekly weather chart. So today is cloudy. So we'll see at the end of the week. I'm hoping that we're going to have more sunny days than cloudy days. Okay. All right. So moving on. I don't have our mailbox. So we're just going to use these. All right. This week, or today actually, because we have multiple things we're going to talk about this week to catch up on, we're going to talk about the letter R. The letter R makes this sound rough. Remember our song? Do you know the letter R, the letter R, the letter R? Do you know the letter R? It makes a sound of R. 
Yes, I know the letter R, the letter R, the letter R. Yes, I know the letter R. It makes the sound of R. Okay, so why are we talking about the letter R? Well, we're going to be talking about today and Thursday, rain and rainbows. And they both begin with the R, rain, rainbow. And these things are things that we start to see when we start the season of spring, which we have up here, spring. So we're gonna be talking about signs of spring. And we're gonna talk about the letter nine. We're moving on up. See, we've done, look at our numbers we've done so far. We've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and now this month we'll talk about the number nine. So we are talking about the letter R, so let's go into our mystery box and see what we have in here that begins with the letter R. What is this? Lily, what is this? Begins with the letter R. A chicken. Not a chicken, which I know a lot of you would say. It's a rooster. And what does the rooster say? Cock-a-doodle-doo. Our friends love to say cock-a-doodle-doo. Okay, let's see what else do I have in here. I have the letter R. Put that up there. What else do I have in here? Ooh, this is something that Lily put in our mystery box. What is it? It's not a stone. It's got to begin with the R sound, with R. It's a rock. And then our last thing is a really cool animal that we see at the zoo. It is a, a donkey. rhino or rhinosaurus. That's a hard word to say, isn't it, Lexi? So we'll just say rhino. A okay. rhinosaurus? It's a rhinoceros. Oh, rhinoceros. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Answer, Mom. All right, let's go ahead and let's read our first book. We're going to read two books this morning, and our first one is called Mouse's First Spring. If you remember Mouse, we, we read a book about Mouse in the beginning of the year when it was his first day of school. So let's see what happens on his first day of spring. Oh, Mouse's like First Spring. <clears throat> one windy spring day, Mouse and Mama went out to play. There in the grass, Mouse found something glittery and flittery. What can it be, wondered Mouse. Look, said Mama, a butterfly. Then whoosh blew the wind and fluttery buttery, the butterfly flew away. There under a leaf, Mouse found something slithery and slimy. What can it be, wondered Mouse. Look, said Mama, it's a snail. Remember, snails move really slow. Then whoosh blew the wind, and hidey inside the snail hid away. Look, he went in his little shell, hiding away. There on a branch, Mouse found something feathery and plump. What can it be, wondered Mouse. Look, said Mama, it's a bird. And look what color our bird is. It's blue, so it's a blue bird. Then whoosh blew the wind and dip flip flapped and the bird darted away. There by the pond, Mouse found something green and peeping. What can it be, wondered Mouse. Look, said Mama, it's a frog. And what color is our frog, friends? Green. Then whoosh blew the wind and splishy splash, the frog hopped away, jumped in the water. There in the dirt, Mouse found something pink and wiggly. What can it be, wondered Mouse. <gasps> Look, said Mama, it's a worm and it's Pink. Have you ever seen a pink worm before? 
Then whoosh blew the wind and squiggly squeezed the worm slid away. Then on the stem, Mouse found something sweet and petally. What can it be, wondered Mouse. Look, said Mama, a flower. Then whoosh blew the wind and rumbly bumbly Mouse tumbled away. Oh no. Then all around, then all around, Mouse found something soft and cuddly and oh so cozy. What can it be, wondered Mouse. Who is that? And it's Smooch came a kiss and Fooch came a hug. It's me, said Mama. Spring is here, little mouse, and I love you. That's a great story. So let's look at some signs of spring. Spring is in the air. And we're going to see a lot of butterflies. And we're going to look up to see the butterflies, right? Because they fly around in the air. We're also going to look up and we're going to see lots of birds. You're going to hear lots of birds chirping and you probably are going to maybe see some baby birds. Maybe there's some place around you that has a nest and the birds are going to come out of their eggs and hatch and be with their mommies. We're also going to see right now, I know you see a lot of these, these pink blossoms on the trees. You'll see pink ones, yellow ones, white ones, all different kind of blossoms. And a lot of thing, a lot that we're seeing lately this week is rain. And remember, we need rain because what does the rain do? It helps our green grass grow, it helps our flowers grow, and our trees bloom. Oh, and then I know a lot of you like to do this. After it rains, if you look down, down, do you see the muddy boots? Spring is everywhere. So I'm sure a lot of you have been in your rain boots splashing in the water. I know that Maddie and Rose showed a picture of them at the stream in their rain boots and they were throwing rocks and having fun. That's an awesome sign of spring that we get to get outside. So let's see, it says, Emily Elizabeth found a blossom on the ground. She wants to tell her teacher. Her teacher is talking. What should Emily do? So remember that when someone else is talking that we have to wait our turn. And then we can um, talk after the other person is finished speaking. So right now we're gonna work on a counting activity. And there's something that I posted on our Padlet that you will be able to do the same thing. Now I know um, I gave you, I think in your packet, you got one through five, one through five raindrops. And if you haven't done it yet, I would encourage you to do it because today I'm posting number six through 10. And I know that a lot of you are able to do that. All right, so let's start. Let's start with what's this number? Number one. And what number comes after one is two. And then what number comes after two? Is it this number? Is it five? No. Mrs. Pasquinelli doesn't know what she's talking about this morning, does she? Let's find the number three. Here's a number three. And then after the number three comes the number, do you know it? Four. And after number four, this is an easy one, because remember, we have five of these, five fingers, the number five. So we have one, two, three, four, five. All right, now let's start with the number that comes after five. After the number five, remember, comes the number six. Okay, and then, we have the number seven. And after seven, does this number come after seven, the number nine? No, it's the number eight. You guys are way too smart. Number eight, and then after number eight comes the number that we're talking about this month is the number nine. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's count our raindrops. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now, on one of your packets, on our Padlet page, I actually did actually six through 10. So remember, when you're counting these, you're going to use your index finger and you're going to count each dot. As you, as you count each dot, you're gonna say the number. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And I put the number six there. Now remember, we don't do this. I'm gonna move on. We don't do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <gasps> That's not right because I only have seven. I don't have eight. So remember to use your index finger. And as you're, as you're touching each dot, you're saying what number it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so there's an activity you can do. Now it actually came on two pages. If you wanna cut out the, 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 um, the numbers, go ahead and try that. Or maybe your mom or dad or your older sister or brother could cut out the numbers for you, okay? All right, the other thing that I have, is on there is to color the letter R's because we're talking about R for rain and here's our raindrops. So I went ahead and did this one. I have, remember, we have a capital R and a lowercase r. So I went ahead and I colored all the capital and lowercase r's blue. Now you know what I should have done after I did this? I should have colored the capital R's one color and the, all the lowercase letters another color, but I forgot to do that. But maybe you could do that, okay? All right, and before we finish up with our final story, I wanna share something with you. So on your Padlet, there is in the first column, there is a journaling page. And I did the first one, okay? So this is our journaling page. It says, what life is like right now? I know we're all going through some crazy times right now. We are going through some, and it's very different, but we're trying, mom and dads, and everybody's trying to make it as normal as possible. Now, this is my journaling page. It says, what life is like right now? And you know what, right now, look, I look a little crazy because sometimes during the day, things are a little crazy because I'm not sure what to expect, but, then I keep thinking, like today when I woke up, I look happy and I am blessed. And the reason is, is today I am happy and excited that I am able to reach out to my friends at school and do the thing that I love the best, and that is teach. So I'm so excited to be able to share these videos with you over the next several weeks. And I'm really hoping that in a little while we're actually gonna be able to see each other face to face and hugs and play together. Um, but this is the best we can do right now, but that's okay, all right? And you can also circle in the weather. Oh, and I put a little happy face because I'm feeling happy today, okay? So what I would like to do is, you can go ahead and do these on your own, but I know that on Thursday, Mrs. Maxwell is gonna share her journal page. And then I'm hoping that every week that we could share a couple of our friends' journal pages. So I will um, touch base with mom and dad about that, okay? All right. All right, let's finish up with one more story. And I love this story. It is called Rabbits and Raindrops. <gasps> mm, we forgot to put, I know something else that we can put in our mystery box on Thursday that begins with the rock sound rabbit my mother rabbit sits by her nest under a hedge at the edge of the green lawn remember a hedge is like a shrub or a large bush so they're all in there keeping safe her five babies are ready to climb out of the nest for the first time she has five babies let's count them one two three four Five. Oh, they're going to get to go outside for the first time. Mother Rabbit hops out into the bright sunlight and onto the green grass. Look, do we see signs of spring in this picture? Look, there's a butterfly, there's flowers, and there's birds. One after another, the five baby rabbits.
rabbits hop onto the lawn. Oh, look, there's some other things in our picture. What else do you see in our picture? I see a little lizard and there's a snail. See, everybody's coming out. Oh, and look, I see these things. What are these called? Ants. They nibble clover blossoms and leaves. They meet grasshoppers, spiders, and bees. All of a sudden, the sky turns dark and big heavy raindrops begin to fall. Oh no, what do you do when the big heavy raindrops begin to fall? A rabbit's fur is not waterproof. Baby rabbits can become soaked and catch colds because rabbits, they don't wear raincoats. So mother rabbit hurries her babies back under the hedge. From their dry shelter, five baby rabbits watch the rain pouring down. Let's look. One, two, three, four, five. And if we add mommy, that makes six. A butterfly flutters in under the hedge and rests on a dry leaf. The butterfly is coming in to stay dry also. Soon others come inside out of the rain. Oh, can you look in the picture and see what other animals or insects are coming in? See if you can find them. Out in the shower, honeybees buzz by, flying between raindrops to stay dry. And the last, oh wait a minute, suddenly the shower ends and the last few drops splatter down. Ooh, look, there's something we haven't talked about today that we see that's gonna start coming out, turtles. All together the rabbits hop out onto the lawn. to taste the wet grass and play rabbit tag in the sun. And there's something in this picture that we're gonna be talking about on Thursday. It is a rainbow. And we're gonna do a little science experiment. The end. There we go. All right, friends. Well, thank you for joining me for circle time this morning. I really hope to see some pictures um, and maybe some of your work that you can either text me or you can post on our Padlet or email it to me. And I would love to share it with our friends. I'm also going to have on our Padlet um, Mrs. Watson and Pastor Hoffman's week three of chapel. Um, I think it's all about uh, Jesus saving us because next week we're going to be talking about Easter. All right. Thank you.